Good evening. The Labour leader, Ed Miliband, has revealed that if his party wins the next election, he'll scrap a key part of the government's changes to housing benefit, which critics often refer to as the bedroom tax. Well, Mr Miliband argues the changes are unfair, but the government says the move is designed to slash the housing benefit bill, as well as freeing up living space for overcrowded families. Well, in an interview for Sunday Politics London, Mr Miliband says he'll pay for it partly by taxing financial services. He's been speaking to our political correspondent, Carl Mercer. Cutting the benefits bill has been a key plank of government policy. Polls suggest many people bank the plans, but there are plenty too who don't. What protesters call the bedroom tax is known by government as the spare room subsidy. It's a way of cutting housing benefit for those deemed to be living in a house that's too big for them. Claimants lose 14% of their benefit for having one spare room. They lose 25% if they have two spare rooms. Labour now says it will scrap the policy if it gets into power. We know it's not working. We know people are falling behind, being threatened with eviction. And I'm serving notice that a Labour government will end the bedroom tax by closing boardroom tax loopholes because our, my government will be a government that stands up for ordinary families uh, and doesn't kick them in the teeth like this government. Labour says official figures show that 80,000 people have so far lost money in London because of the policy change. More than 50,000 of them are disabled and the average loss is more than £1,000 a year. But to help pay for its policy, the party says it will crack down on some tax avoidance and bring back other charges on financial services. Is this going back to the days where Labour bashes the bankers and starts taxing those? There is an argument that those are the wealth providers. No, it's about fairness and it's about making a decision about how you spend very scarce resources in our country. And I think if you ask most people in Britain, most people in London, is it right to be giving a tax break to the hedge funds while hitting the the poorest people in our society and creating hardship for them, I'd say actually the fairer choice is to reverse that tax cut for the hedge funds introduced by George Osborne and actually end the bedroom tax. The government says its benefit changes are necessary. This was the Deputy Prime Minister back in July. There's something which I'm afraid I, I and nobody in, a, in, in, in any position of responsibility can duck, which is we just have so, we have two million households on the social housing waiting list. There are, we have hundreds of thousands of other people in, in properties with more rooms than they need. Labour's plan would cost nearly half a billion pounds. It says it's fully costed. Opponents disagree. This announcement today is a slap in the face for the million and a half families who are either in overcrowded accommodation or are waiting to get a social rented property. What it says to people is you, it's OK for you to have a spare room and you'll get subsidised by the government, by the taxpayer, to keep that spare room empty. So the battle lines are drawn. Labour's announcement may please its own supporters. It will also harden opposition from those who back the benefits changes. Well, Carl's with me now. And Carl, the scrapping of this so-called bedroom tax may be popular with some grassroots Labour supporters, but what about wider support? Yeah, as you say, I said, um, Labour have been banging on about this for ages, saying what they call the bedroom tax is unfair. So in, in some ways it would have been more of a surprise if Ed Miliband had said he wasn't going to scrap it. Clearly it's going to appeal to Labour supporters, particularly on the eve of the party conference. Labour will also hope that there's some suggestion in, in a polls like, like there was today from the National Housing Federation suggesting maybe two thirds of people think the, um, the so-called bedroom tax should go. The government, on the other hand, will look at plenty of other polls and take what you want from polls and say there is a groundswell of public opinion that says the benefits bill needs to be tackled. I think what we will see, or what we have seen today, though, is, is the fact that cost of living and the cost of benefits are going to be key issues as we go to the next election. OK, our political correspondent, Carl Mercer, thanks very much. Well, Carl will be uh, back with more on this story on Sunday Politics London, and that's this Sunday at 11 o'clock on BBC One.